if you are a bride-to-be, you definitely have enough stress on your plate when it comes to wedding planning. So getting that perfect bridal body isn't something that you need to stress about, and you actually shouldn't. There are exercises that you can do while relaxing in bed that also tend to those wedding dress spots, like the chest, you know, you don't want that pudge going over if you have a strapless dress. The bat wings, you don't want to wave and have these <laughs> flapping around. The thighs, the abs, especially when it comes to the honeymoon. The back, and of course, the shoulders. So, this is your bride-to-be quickie workout in bed. And the first is cardio. What you want to do is make sure that you get the blood pumping. You want to burn off some fat, and you do that with cardio. So we're going to do foot warmers. So you're going to lay on your back, and then move your feet back and forth as fast as you can. It might look silly. It's actually one of my favorite exercises to do, though, right before I fall asleep at night because it warms up your feet. That's why they're called foot warmers. So you're engaging your core, and you're just letting your legs fly. I do it until I literally cannot do it once more. And it's a couple of minutes, sometimes three, sometimes five but I do it until I'm completely out of breath. Then, once you are, you got your blood pumping, you're burning some fat, you're gonna do the bouncing circle. And the bouncing circle is great for the arms. So first, you're gonna get on your knees, you're gonna squeeze your legs together, like you have a ball between your legs and you wanna pop it. Then you're gonna bounce the arm in front and you're gonna circle the arm to the side. And you're gonna do this for two full minutes on each side. You're gonna really start to feel this in your shoulders, in your chest, in your back, and of course, your thighs, your inner thighs in particular, and your abs, because you're engaging your abs the whole time. After two minutes, you're gonna switch. This also helps with that bra strap fat. So back here and the front. Then for the bat wings, you're gonna do reverse plank dips. So. Reverse plank is basically the opposite of the top of a push-up. You're gonna put your hands down, hands, your fingers facing towards your butt, and then you're going to lift your butt. So your back, your whole body is completely straight, like a plank. And you're gonna hold here, engaging your abs, engaging your legs and your hamstrings, and then you're gonna dip. And this is where the bat wing work comes in. <laughs> you're gonna do these, if you can, 50 times. If you're not quite there yet, do them 25. Don't let your butt hang down. Make sure you keep your body straight. It's really good total body toner. <laughs> then to get those saddlebags, the side here that you don't want to be sticking out in your bathing suit in your honeymoon, you're gonna do the hands and knees. It's a great thigh burner. So you can get on your hands and knees and you're just gonna lift one leg back right behind you, straight, and then you're gonna open it up to the side and you're gonna hold. It's a really ugly exercise, I know. <laughs> but it's so great for those saddlebags. Oh, you have no idea, it's already burning. So you're gonna hold this for 60 seconds. Return to the back, knee down, and switch another 60 seconds. Then you're gonna do donkey. And donkey is great as a butt lifter. So. I'm gonna turn to the side so you can see. Stay on your hands and knees. Your foot is already back because you just finished the hands and knees thigh burner, butt burners. Then you're gonna bend your knee and you're just gonna pulse up. And you're gonna repeat this a hundred times. You wanna make sure you keep your abs engaged because it helps to, to keep the, the pressure off your low back. So you don't wanna hurt your low back doing this. And you're just gonna pulse up. If you wanna really fire up this exercise, then you're gonna open up too. So you can, you're gonna do another 100 open donkeys. Then you're gonna switch legs, donkey straight back up, and open donkey if you want. Looks a little bit more like a dog, doesn't it? Then for the flat stomach is the Pilates 100. So you're gonna balance on your butt, stick your legs straight out, you're gonna allow your core to go back just a little bit. You're engaging your abs, put your hands out, knees straight, and you're gonna pulse your hands 
a hundred times. That's why it's the Pilates 100. You will feel this in your abs. Oh wow. The reason you're pulsing is because it forces your abs to fire just a little bit more and make sure that you're really putting the energy into, those, into that stomach. So if you do this, try to be quickie every morning for two weeks leading up to that wedding day. And then on your wedding day, do it before you walk down the aisle. I promise you, you will start to have that perfect wedding dress body that is going to live forever in photos.